How's it, chaps? In a previous episode, we installed this brand new 10,000 liter eco water tank. And of course, as luck would have it, I got caught in the rain while doing it. That was great fun. <laughs> Not really. But I am happy to say that it has been collecting water really well. However, today we have another 5,000 litre tank. We are going to take that uh, new tank and we are going to remove the old tank. Uh, focus, we're going to remove the old tank down there and we're going to swap those two and that old tank we'll take to the back um, and I'd rather have a brand new eco tank standing in the front yard. As you can see along the top there, there's our down pipe, so the gutter pipe that feeds into the tank and then we've got inside this tank uh, in this side on the right hand side there is a submersible pump um, and then that pumps basically up and that way and it pumps all the way across the house to that tank um, so we can transfer water if we need anyway that's what we've got to do we've got to connect uh, connect up this brand new eco tank so let's get going I think this thing's still got too much water in it. I thought it was fairly empty. It's probably still around the bottom here somewhere, but yeah, I guess we'll have to wait for it to, to slowly drain. Two steps forward, three steps back. Maybe this will work. Probably not. Yikes, mine's just flipping, not standing around there watching. Maybe give me a hand. Come now. Jingles. I don't ask you for much, but uh. here we go. There we go. Now we're getting half flow. <laughs> I think it's a lot emptier now, so I mean, should be able to move it. Yeah, so much. I mean, yes. Yeah, you yeah, don't. Uh, you don't mind giving a guy a hand again? Come now, man. You can't just sit there on the bloody couch watching me do all the hard work. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I do love hard work. I can, I can watch it all day. But you know, a little bit of a helping hand would be nice. Obviously, it's catching on something. Oh yeah, catching on the bricks there. There we go. Let's just uh, let's just slide it across the bricks, scratch the bottom, maybe rub through so that we can uh, have another use of this tank. Don't exactly know how you're supposed to move these things, but anyway, I'm just going to push it. Get some help. It's okay. We'll get there one day. One day. Oh, I think we might be installing this thing backwards. The corner of the tank needs to go that way, but it's a round tank, so I'm not too sure what she meant, you know. Corner. Bottom corner? Top corner? Top corner is also round. Yeah, let's let's see how much of the bottom of the tank we can rip. I mean, clearly this is the professional DIY method of installing a tank. For those of you who are not comfortable pushing tanks around in your garden, then uh, maybe get somebody else to do it. I mean, 
Yeah, if my arms were just a little bit longer, it might work. But... Hey man, I don't even know what I'm doing. I haven't been this confused since the last six pack of beer. It's actually a good idea. Maybe we should crack a beer quickly. Sit in a circle and think about it. Shit. Oh, okay. There we go. That's why you should why you wear safety shoes, folks. You use it as a prop. I wonder what E-Man is doing these days. Don't see him around much anymore. Looks like we're getting there. That didn't sound good. Eco tanks, front and center. I was actually hanging a little bit to the right, but you know, I suppose that's what happens every now and again. I think we need to turn it some more. Yeah. That's really not sounding nice. Just can't get this thing straight. So, I mean, what do you guys think? Just take a look from your corner there. Tell me what you think if it's uh, if it's straight, if it needs to be turned a little bit, maybe. Okay. I hear you, I hear you. A little bit, a little bit over to the left. Is that enough? More? Okay. We can go left. Enough? Is that it? I mean, don't all of you speak at once, you know? I'm sure that'll be, I'm sure that'll be just fine. So this is what it looks like inside the new tank. Looks pretty clean. Can't wait to can't wait to drop my phone into here. Then we've got to, you know, climb down there and fetch it out. Hello. Hello. So now with the tank in place, basically we've got the downpipe over there. I took that off just now. You can see a part of the gut is missing, so that's now got to be installed, run across this opening, and I suppose we've got to cut a hole in that lid, and then it's got to feed into there somehow. Got to work out some sort of filter, leaf catch mechanism, temporary thing for now. Underneath there is a black, a black PVC pipe inside this white PVC pipe now. The water, um, you know, goes into here. Well, that's the pump. That's the submersible pump. There's the piece of pipe that goes that goes up the tank and then it'll connect with a 90 degree over there. And then that's what pumps the water to that other far tank on the other side. So that's basically what we've got to get installed now. I'm gonna try not to nuke off this ladder. I mean, last time that happened, it, uh, it was a fun trip. Very short lived though. Luckily, it didn't get too hurt. Um, so that's, that's got to go something like that. I think we just got to clip this back in. I can't, can't wait to break it. I mean, that's, you know, that's generally how things go. You've just got enough parts to finish a job and you end up breaking one. Shops are all closed. How does this thing even go on here? I think, What do they say? Just uh, if it doesn't fit, just force it. Is that? I mean, that's, that's what I keep on hearing. There we go. That'll work. Stupid little piece of end gutter. I mean, I don't, know, I don't know who did this. I mean, normally you would uh, you would have a whole piece of gutter going right to the end, drill like a big hole in it, or a couple of holes, and then I don't know. You know, ask no questions, you know lies. Anyway, we'll install it. See how it works out. I mean, it can't leak more than it was leaking already. Something like that. That's the right way to do things. Ah, oh, man, I really need gloves. I could really need a screwdriver or a hammer. Oh, stab myself in the process. Dang, goes. Home James. That'll work. 
there we go. Just like that, we have a gutter outlet. I guarantee you it will leak, but that's a job for another day, I think. Jesus, all lots is a job for another day. I think his gutter's hanging on with hope and, hopes and dreams here. Best I not show you. <laughs> it's not something to be too proud of. Little tip here, guys. Use stainless steel screws. Really, it's like 50, 60 cents for a stainless steel screw. It's not a lot. And it won't rust like these do. They rust off, they rust into the wood. Um, it rusts, it puts rust stains in the wood, in your paint. Don't be a freaking tool. So there we have it, the tank has been successfully installed and all we need to do now is to wait for the rain to come and to fill the tank and we'll be styling. Now, before you guys go, have you ever wondered what dirt and debris collect in these water tanks? Well, I also wondered the same thing and I've had a quick peek in that old tank that we removed from here. I think you're gonna be shocked. Oh, oh gross. Holy f Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Shit. No, man, my God. <laughs> In the next video, we're going to have a look inside that old tank. We're also going to clean it out. So make sure that you like the video, that you are subscribed, and you hit the little bell icon so that you don't miss out on that next video. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Grant Burton. This is the Burton Bulls Garage, and you guys will see me in the next video. Cheers.